Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the Bronx at the Department of Sanitation in New York City with a vampire known as Davy Boy. And he demands absolute transparency out of the sanitation department. And one of the administrators of the sanitation department gives him no satisfaction whatsoever. So now let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. See, this is the sign that they needed. You see, Davy Boy just can't understand the concept of what's called a job, and that he wonders why certain people would want to have a job where they where they collect garbage. Well, to be perfectly honest, Davy Boy, there's people out there who actually love getting dirty. They love getting their hands messy. They feel like it's a uh, calling that they have whenever they go out and uh, collect the garbage. So that way the streets aren't exactly messed up and everything looks nice and clean and beautiful. But I digress. Uh, there's a lot of dead air in this, so I'm going to have to skip ahead to when the supervisor comes out and completely cuts this idiot off. 15 minutes later... Yeah, give the uh, supervisor the silent treatment and see how far that takes you. I mean, if this were Sean Paul Reyes doing this right now, he'd already be uh, bitching about, uh, oh, you're violating my rights for because of that sign over there. That's against the Constitution. But you're not even going to do that, are you? You're just going to give the silent treatment because why? Uh, for clicks and views? I don't know. I mean, it just seems rather pointless right about now. You're on private property or something I can help you with. I'm on private property? Yeah, it's the Department of Sanitation. Is there something I can help you with? Who funds the Department of Sanitation? The city does. So it makes it public, right? The sidewalk is public, but you're reporting inside. Where am I standing at? You're standing in a driveway. Where am I standing at? On a driveway. That's a driveway, see? Trucks drive through here. Okay. Is there anything I can help you with? Am I inside your property or am I on the sidewalk? You're on the property premises. Is there something you're I can assist you with? You're contradicting yourself. Oh, Davy boy, maybe you should uh, start off with much smaller words because I don't think you even understand what the word contradiction means because that uh, supervisor didn't contradict himself one bit right there. It's just that you don't understand what the word means to begin with. So please don't go above your level from this point on because uh, it kind of makes you look stupid if you continue to use words that you don't even understand to begin with. You are. Not. You said it's private property, but I'm on the public sidewalk. The public sidewalk. That All right then. So, so how am I trespassing? I'm asking if you need assistance, Wendy. Is there a reason why you're recording inside? How am I trespassing? Is there a reason why you're recording inside? 
Is there a reason why you approached me? Yes, this is my facility. I'm you own this facility? No, I'm the first supervisor of the facility. I was gonna ask you how much you pay for it. A lot of money. You must be rich. No, I'm filthy. Right. You on the sidewalk too? 18 inches off the curb. Yeah? You know who owns the sidewalk? Yeah, the city. Right. You don't own the sidewalk. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. Is there anything we can assist you with? I didn't ask you for help, sir. Okay. Well, you're recording inside a facility. Okay, that's a good observation. Yes, it is. Is there something wrong with that? Knock yourself out. Have a good day, Brito. Thank you, sir. That would be the right thing to do, right? If you didn't want nobody to see. That's okay, sir. If you want privacy in public, you have to create it. Sorry, I can't hear you. You heard what I said. No, I know. If you want privacy in public, you have to create it. If you don't want the public to look in your garage, close the door. Took you a while to get a bright idea. I'm gonna go to the other gate that's open. It is so sad to see somebody so uneducated and so unemployable that they have got to go down to the Department of Sanitation and play games with the supervisor like this. I tell you something, Davy boy, I'm going to tell you like I told somebody I know in real life who's actually a clone of you. You are a perfect example of what not to be in life. A pathetic, unemployable, royal pain in the ass. That's all you are and that's all you will ever accomplish. Being a nothing, a nobody, and annoying those who actually have jobs and a uh, have accomplished goals in their life other than being a, uh, well, dumbass like you. We're going to make him close all the gates. We want privacy created. Let's make him close all the gates. Let's see if he does it. Let's see if we have mind control over Brito. <laughs> we got mind control over Brito. Oh, what the fuck you hiding? What are you hiding? Garbage, bro? Bro, what are you hiding? Garbage? Huh? What are you hiding? Garbage? No, you hiding garbage? So why can't the public look inside a public property? Okay. Okay. There's no transparency? No, so why are you closing all the gates? I'm a member of the public that you work for. Why do you want transparency out of the sanitation department? I mean, their only real job is to collect and dispose of garbage. I mean, come on now, man. You demand transparency out of the government. I mean, why don't you go ahead and go to the uh, city hall? Oh, wait, you're not welcome there either. Never mind. Don't you pick up my garbage? I do not. So why? Yes, you do. I don't. Well, you guys do. Why are you closing the gates, bro? We fund this whole thing. We can look inside. You gonna close all the gates? Yep. You gonna beat me to the other gate? Yep. All right. Brito, you're funny, bro. Brito, why are you hiding the garbage trucks, bro? So what is there to hide? What? Public safety. Come on, Brito. Cut it out, bro. Public safety. You crazy. 
Well, yeah, public safety, dude, because they can't have incompetent morons like you just walking in there and trying to operate these machines. You might lose an arm in the uh, compactor of one of those big machines over there. Oh, thank God Brito's not a cop. Oh, thank God. Davey boy, you like to pretend you've got the power around here, but uh, in reality, no you don't, because that uh, supervisor blocked you at every turn, you are not exactly allowed on the premises because, you know what, you're not employed there, he's employed there, therefore, he has the power to kick you out. Basically, what he's trying to do here now is trying to prevent somebody from coming in who might uh, accidentally lose a body part in one of these machines because, well, he doesn't know what your intelligence level is. He, For all he knows, you're just some simpleton with the camera looking for shiny objects to play with. We got one more, one more gate left. Come on, Brito, you can do it. I want to see his badge number one more time. What's your badge number, Brito? Right there, buddy. Your badge number's right there? Yep. I thought your badge number's like a number. It is. Well, right there is letters. It should have been... What's the numbers? When you rewind back, you'll see the number. Okay. The no, the people have to be able to redress our government. No, trust me, you'll see it. If we want to file complaints on you. You'll be fine. By all means, you have a great weekend. You too, Bobby. Stay black, you heard? No doubt, Bobby. That's right. We had mind control over Brito. We made him close all the gates. I don't know what the fuck you closing at. What are you hiding? Garbage trucks, bro? Like, <laughs> what's the big deal? Oh, I guess you've never worked in an area that has heavy equipment before because they have to keep the low IQ simpletons like you out of there so they don't lose body parts. I mean, it's just common damn sense, dude. I mean, if you walked in there and put your hand where it didn't belong and you lose it, they would be liable for, uh, well, that lost body part and uh, there would be a hell of a lot of lawsuits because of that. So yeah, that's why they gotta keep you out of there, because you have no common damn sense, and you have no ability to uh, think for yourself. At any rate, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.